Today I'm going to be doing a proper speed build for the first time in a while and as you can probably tell today we are going to be building or I'm going to be building or you're going to be watching uh, me building a holiday family home. It's going to have two bedrooms, one for a kid's room and one for the parents bedroom so kind of a parents master bedroom I guess and also one bathroom with the kitchen and the rest of the rooms. So over here, as you can tell, I'm trying to do these stairs that go up so I can make like a porch type of area thing. I did have to do lots of trial and error with the sandboxes. Of course, you're going to be needing the advanced placement game pass and also the basement game pass for uh, raising up the stairs unless you don't decide to make this type of entrance. And yeah, I really hope you enjoy it and let's keep building. I didn't really prepare before this build so I'm kind of just building a random outline and then I'm going to adjust it from there so in case you're copying this speed build you're welcome to more than welcome to I'm going to be changing it up a bit and seeing if I like the shape or not and going from there so I um, suggest looking at the tour seeing the end results and then coming back and changing it making minor changes see what you like dislike and such because I do change it a little bit a lot around yeah <laughs> So I'm working on the roof, the color patterns, and seeing what I think would fit nice. And I end up removing the house on the left that connects it because I felt like it was a little bit too big. But I do play around with tons of different types of windows and it ends up looking really good and modern and I really like it. I hate that you have to do like a full wall. I wanted to do like a mini half wall on the roof in order to have like a window there. I ended up deleting it, I believe, and just adding a roof because I kind of just gave up. And I'm basically playing around with like the roof sizes with different roof shapes and seeing what I think looks good for the theme or whatever theme I'm going for. <laughs> and over here is also like a balcony area that you can come up that I'm going to be putting a Christmas tree right before you can walk out so you can see the Christmas tree from outside. Did you see this update where you can like stretch the lights on the roof? I think it's really cute and it looks so good. The only thing that I didn't like, it was a little bit too bright on the white color. I think I changed the color of white a little bit and I tried playing around the, with the lights so it would like not look too bright. But I believe I ended up keeping it because I really loved the string lights and I love how you can stretch them and everything like that. It's so cute. Oh my God. <laughs>
So now I'm adding in some stairs so I can work on the interior a tiny bit while also still planning out the shape of the house. I really love the fences with the garlands and the sparkly lights. It looks so beautiful. And over here is going to end up being the living room. I did stretch out the room a little bit because I felt like there were too many corners. And over here, right in front, where you see I'm placing this little flooring, I'm going to make that into a roof and make it like a stepping stone type of thing, as you can tell right over here. And that's where I'm going to be placing my fireplace. It looks so good and it looks so professional. Because, you know, I'm so professional. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. Okay, so I made it pretty and this is going to be the living room. Let's keep decorating. you need a christmas tree that's the most important thing or if you sell if you don't celebrate christmas it's still really pretty and i went full out with putting presents around the tree literally stacked presents because i just found out while building this that you could stack presents and i really love the circular ones and the bigger ones that they added this year it looks so cute i love it so much and i went around coloring all of them so they all look different and unique from each other and it added a cute little touch to it This has probably been done before, but, but while building, I saw these cute reindeer and I put them like facing each other as if it's two reindeer falling in love in the Christmas and holiday winter spirits and magical. And it looks so adorable. I had to keep them on top of the fireplace staring into each other's souls. Okay, I'm making this awkward. Okay, let's keep building. <laughs> now over here i'm extending the upstairs making a floor layout for the second floor and then i extend the walls and give an overall shape of what i think i may do i end up having the kitchen downstairs along with a separate room for a dining table and that's basically what i'm doing the entrance way for over here and of course i needed to add in string lights because they are one of my favorite things in this update You may be able to tell, but this place that I'm sectioning off over here is going to be the kitchen. I felt like it was a little bit too big and I didn't feel like doing a huge on kitchen. So I decided to do a really narrow kitchen. I believe it was three by four, maybe, possibly five, something like that. It was really narrow and I felt like it was really cute because when I think of like holiday kitchens, I don't know why, but I feel like a more narrow one brings family more closer together or something like that. I guess that's what I was going for. I also went with like a really old rustic look that I am in love with, like the coloring at the very end. Oh my God, I love it so much. It gives this warm 
warm, cozy feeling inside the build. Of course, I had no idea what was I going for at the very beginning, so I do change my mind uh, quite a lot, but the end result, let me just say, it is worth it, okay? It is worth it. <laughs> you're like watching this and i'm like trying to convince you it's worth it you have probably already saw the tour okay i'm talking too much i should stop okay so yeah let's decorate the kitchen and let's get this party started <laughs> oh my god I thought that like a brick type of texture would be too much, but I ended up really liking it, especially with this dark red color. It made it feel so cozy and warm and perfect for the holidays. And I ended up loving it and keeping it, of course. I'll be honest in saying this was a lot more difficult than it looked to decorate the kitchen because I had absolutely no idea what I should put on the counters to not make it look empty or too full. So I kind of struggled on this a tiny bit, but it turned out looking pretty good in my opinion. I don't know. I, it's, it depends on your opinion. And yeah, and I added some shelves and some pepper shakers and, da -da 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 and decorated more. Yep. <laughs> so i could get the uh cappuccino machine no that's crazy okay but it like fit really good so i had to you know <laughs> so i also built this room over here and of course i bet you can guess it it's going to be a dining room it was a little spacious and i was a little scared that it would be too empty but i ended up making enough room for a christmas tree for adding in a small little um, counter area with some decorations. And then I added a garland on the table with a little cloth and it looked really good. just continued decorating with changing some colors around adding garlands adding some flooring and adding more decorations of course So 
So the funny thing is I always forget about the bathroom. So I gave the bathroom the smallest room in the house. That's literally a three by two area space. And I literally forgot about the toilet after I was done decorating. So at the end of like decorating the toilet, you'll see decorating the toilet. I mean, decorating the bathroom, you'll see that I literally put the toilet right in front of the, um, the shower because there was no more room in the bathroom and I'm so bad at like keeping the idea that I need to add a toilet. So yeah, this is the bathroom. The one bathroom that the only house has. <laughs> If it's just me but i struggle so much with decorating bathrooms like these small minor details i never know where to add what and what to put where so <laughs> i spent a good like 20 minutes trying to figure out where i should put things and like the soaps and all the plants and yeah <laughs> the struggle is real Okay, but this family is going to have like three Christmas trees because we're taking advantage of this update that came out like a few weeks ago. But still, the Christmas trees are so pretty and I love the off blue color that I added to it along with the white. So I had to add another Christmas tree right at the entrance. Like it would be wrong if I didn't do it because like you need it, you need it. It's necessary, it's necessary in life. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm filling out this roof and then extending the walls to the second floor on how I want it, how the shape of the house and such. And then I'm going to add a roof on top to close it off and start out the outlines of the bedrooms and yeah, just the bedrooms because there's no bathroom upstairs. We also don't want the house like collapsing on top of us. So I decided to add pillars over here so it would hold up the house, of course. And now I'm just going to be coloring in the flooring and the roofing of the first floor. And now I'm going to be cutting off these bedrooms. Like I said before, there's going to be one kid's bedroom and one uh, parent's bedroom or master bedroom, whatever you want to call it. I also felt like this space was empty. So I decided to add a small plant on the floor along with a little uh, counter area and added in a small touch of decoration. So it wouldn't be that empty over here. So here will be the daughter's bedroom. I'm saying daughter's because I kind of did a pink theme. Of course, if you were to rebuild this, you could make it like neutral color, which I'm pretty sure uh, a boy could also have this bedroom, but there are a few pinks and you could change it, of course, to fit uh, your 
preferity, your preference, your preference. There we go. So I added in these shelves and this bookshelf. I really loved it so much. And over here, soon enough, I'm going to be placing down a mirror. And with the mirror, I put in these new string lights around it. And let me just say, I am obsessed with it it looked really bright so i did try to change the color a bit and i ended up choosing like a red color lighting so it wouldn't be that bright and it wouldn't reflect off the bookshelf making it super white but i did decorate the bookshelf with adding in some flowers some trees reindeer whatever else you name it i added it and we're basically just going to be decorating the kids bedroom now decided to add in a small Christmas tree inside the girls bedroom I know this might not be realistic but it did add a cute touch and I really liked how it looked so I kept it Okay, so at this point, we basically can't have enough Christmas trees. So I'm adding another one right over here. Like I said at the very beginning that I would add right in front of the doorway so that you can see inside and you'll see the Christmas tree. with decorating the kids room and now i'm going to be mo moving on into the parents bedroom this space was a little weird to decorate with i wanted the bed against the window but i felt like it didn't look as good so i decided to put it near the window and tried out a few different styles until i ended up liking one and i kept it and rolled with it
really did my best trying to decorate the parents' bedroom. I even added like this desk area for the wife or for one of the parents to do their makeup, of course. And I added this placemat for the makeup to go on top of, added some books and stuff. It turned out pretty good, pretty festive, and I ended up liking it. Even though it wasn't that decorated, it still looked simple and cute, and I left it like that. So I decided to go outside on the exterior, add in some garlands around the place, add in some decorations, and jazz it up a tiny bit. Ooh, I used jazz it up. Okay, sorry. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> so I added in some different stuff, such as the roofing, added in some garlands, lights, and just played around with the, the exterior a bit. tired of doing the exterior I didn't know what else to do so I went back to the interior and I did some decorations in this top main floor because I didn't want it to be empty you walk upstairs it's empty it's bland the walls are empty there's nothing else there so of course we need to decorate it I don't know why I said it like that but I added in some picture frames that's easy to decorate the walls make it look less empty I did add in some desks a clock on the wall too and I kept decorating until I thought it looked really nice. one thing and I think you know what thing we're missing we are missing plants because you can never have too many plants big ornaments over here because I felt like this little corner needed something so I thought this was a really cute addition onto the build it's really simple and really small but I loved it and I also did border the house with a few fences because the white color didn't really match the brown color and I knew that I had to do something so it worked out and then I added in a roof to finish up the top of course because you don't want to be roofless I also added in a chimney even though I was going to add it over here, I decided to move it because from the front, it did look really weird to be placed right in the middle. So I moved it randomly in the house and I ended up where liking where I put it last and then I'm just putting more borders around the house. We gotta open up this place a little bit more so i decided to add in these windows and i colored them with a wood theme because it made it feel more cozy more at home in my opinion and i really liked it so i added in a few windows i did add in some garlands all every now and then a little bow 
and stuff like that because I felt like it fit well. You could tell I'm not really good at decorating walls with uh, very empty spaces. So I ended up just grabbing a few windows and just placing them where I thought you needed uh, to put in something on the wall so it didn't look too empty. And I really love the openness of the living room area because it looks super nice. That's my opinion, of course, but yeah, I added in another, okay, I didn't add in another Christmas tree, but I did add in more presents because you can never have enough presents, can you? Always wondering what's inside that. And yeah, we kept decorating. You don't want to be sitting there in the dark or walking around your house in the dark. So that only means one thing. We are going to be adding in some lights. Of course, they're going to have warm lighting with some linen color. And I also forgot to put the roof on here. So I just fix that up right quick. And I'm putting in the lights, seeing how everything looks, adding in more lights and more lights with the warm lighting. And yeah, keep on decorating and coloring and fixing whatever was missing. So you know how at the beginning of the build I had like another addition to the house on the left but I decided to delete it because I felt like it was too big. The pathway was still there and people were telling me I should add in a garage. I wasn't quite sure how I was going to make the pathway connect because I wasn't like 100% with adding like a garage area separated from the house but I did end up making it pretty nice in my opinion of course and the people who are watching me build I had my neighborhood open they were giving me suggestions on what to do so that really helped and I ended up really liking it Poor garage also needed some jazzling up, some jazzing it up and dazzling it up. I just repeated myself twice, but we needed some lights. We needed some Christmas decorations. So I decided to add in some garlands, a big bow, and it looks super nice. Add in some windows because I can't decorate empty walls. <laughs> and then I did add in a bookshelf or two to make it not look super empty. And you can see the stinky people all running around because I said I was decorating the garage. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah!
the car not to fall off the driveway. I ended up boarding up the driveway. I tried in some roofs for the little shed garage area. I didn't like it because it wasn't a real home. I did add in some pine trees, which looked super cool. And then the people who were watching me suggested that I added in some gumdrops. So I added in some gumdrops around the winter home because I felt a little empty, don't you think? finishing touches of course i had to add in a sense of light source so i did add in some of these lamps or lights that i put outside outside lights is that what you call them <laughs> and then after that i was pretty much done with the build well guys that was the winter christmas home build i really hope you enjoyed thank you so much for watching till the end i hope you have a wonderful holiday season and i'll see you guys next time bye everybody if you enjoyed this video, click that subscribe button to be a part of the Pandora Habitat. Also, click that notification bell to be notified of when I post. Could you be the first to comment? Panda Girl is out!